so suppose i want to put a hatching lines in, in this rectangle so the here hatch command is there so command name is hatch you can also give h as a shortcut suppose hatch so you have this dialog box for hatch so here first you can select the swatch which type of hatch you want to create you get there are different type of hatch they have given suppose i select this and nc31 then say okay then select define the boundary in which area you want to create the hatch then just add pick point is there so click on this button and uh, wherever you want to create the hatch inside that boundary you just click the point so it will automatically catch the boundary then right click and say preview so it will show how that hatch is visible so if this hatch is okay you can just right click if you want to make some changes just click the first mouse button so this dialog box will come back and you can make the changes suppose i just want to increase the gap between the lines so gap right now is very it is very close so i will just increase the gap by i will make the scale to 5 then i can uh, see the effect of changes by clicking on this preview button so in this way the gap has increased so i will just right click to apply the hatch once hatch has been applied you can make the changes to the hatch by double clicking on the hatch so here suppose i want to create change the angle so this it has considered as zero this angle has been considered as zero here so uh, if i want to create a opposite angle so i will say here 90 degree so it will change the direction to opposite so in this way you can make the changes to the hatch then for hatch hatch the object should be closed suppose open object is there and now if i want to uh, try to create a hatch by picking point then it will give a error hatch boundary not closed it will also mark the by red circle where it is open so the those areas you have to close or either you also have option of you can define the boundary by selecting object also just click on this button and select the object then say right click and preview so in this way you can create the hatch and suppose there are multiple objects are there in which you want to create the hatch suppose uh, two uh, circles are there two rectangles are there and inside this i want to create a hatch so i will say add pick point i will click all the boundaries right click preview this is fine so i will just right click now you, you will see that the hatches are separate but here the hatch is single object so if i want to make changes to this portion all hatch area will be changing so to separate this hatch or all hatches from each other you just double click on the hatch and say separate hatches and say okay then each hatch will get separated so here i can make changes to this hatch suppose i want this cross pattern so uh, after that i want to copy this pattern into this so you can use the match property command or ma shortcut just select the source object and target object in this way you can copy the hatch so you can also create a suppose there are nested object if there are some nest nested objects are there object inside one another and if you try to create hatch for those objects i will give pick point then it will select all the object if i say preview then it is creating hatch on the alternate shapes so by clicking first point so here more option is there so here no, because of normal it is creating for alternate object if i say outer <coughs> and uh, if i click on preview then it is created hatch for only outer if i say ignore then it is created for all the portion so in this way you can control in which area hatch should be created i can create a hatch of single color also if i want to create a hatch of single color then you have to give hatch then go to swatch other predefined and select solid and from here you can select any color you want or you can select select color a dialog box is also there you can select any color then pick inside boundary then right click preview and in this way you can create a single color hatch or you can also create a double color two color hatch also you can create by clicking on this gradient button you can select the pattern then add pick point the method is same right click preview you can change the colors also from here you can change the colors from here you can change both of the colors first and second color and you can see the effect so in this way you can create a gradient hatch also so in this way you can use the hatch command so thanks for joining